All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to today's video. Have you been wanting to make your own dashboard for your bamboo printers that has the information that you want in the way that you want to see it? Well, in today's video, I'm going to go over how to set up your bamboo printer in Home Assistant and we'll take a look at all of the options for the things that you have access to, you know, like temperatures, fans, all of that different type of stuff. Um, so we'll take a look at how you integrate your bamboo printer into Home Assistant, all of the stuff that you can um, do with it. And then we'll look at a couple of different ways that you might um, automate some things um, with your bamboo printer. Um, we'll also take a look at possibly integrating the camera into Home Assistant. Um, it's always hit and miss. As you guys know, the video that I made a long time ago no longer works. It seems like every update they change the way that the camera works on this thing over the network. Um, so I will attempt to uh, get it working in Home Assistant, but no, um, no promises with that. And I'll go over whether I uh, got it or not, and I'll show you the process for all of that. So we'll take a look at uh, Home Assistant, how to integrate everything in there, what we have access to, and then some ideas of how to use that and to automate some things. So if all that sounds good, then sit back and relax and I'll get everything ready. <laughs> All right, so before we get started um, with Home Assistant, if you haven't set up Home Assistant before, you do need some sort of compute device in order to do so. And you'll see a lot of guides showing um, using a Raspberry Pi as the device to do this. And these do work um, okay, <clears throat> but they are a little bit expensive. They have come down. They used to be 250 bucks. Now they're only $170, but you know, you're only getting eight gig of RAM and 128 gig of storage. Um, what I purchased instead, and there's a couple of guides out there on how to do this, um, but what I purchased instead is I just did a search for, you know, an old desktop mini that has been renewed that has an i5, 16 gig of RAM, double the RAM, and double the storage space as well. Or, you know four times the storage space as well so and then it has all kinds of connectivity wi-fi you know bluetooth all of that stuff so you know a lot better bang for your buck i'll leave a link to this one but it's refurbished so if you're watching this in the future it may not be the same thing but just do a search for an old desktop mini and you can get one for you know almost fifty dollars cheaper than uh the raspberry pi and you're getting a lot more uh, bang for your buck and if you're trying to run you know video or anything through your home assistant or do a lot of stuff with it having this extra ram and uh, storage space and all of that does um does help with all of that so i just thought i'd give you guys a tip on that if you haven't set up your home assistant um, look for one of these desktop minis so you get a lot more bang for your buck all right so the first thing that we're going to want to do once we're in home assistant <clears throat> is we're going to want to add the bamboo lab integration so that it shows up in our devices and services and we can connect to it and how we get there is you're going to go to the hacks integration here and go into integrations and then explore and download repositories it won't find it for me because i've already done it <clears throat> but once you search for bamboo lab you should come up to this page here and there should be a download button in here and you'll see all of the different things um, we'll go over this in uh, great detail here in a minute um, but all of the different sensors and everything that you now have access to and all of the ams's and everything uh, things that you can do with the LED lights and there's a blueprint that you can download and there's even these cool uh, overlays or whatever that you can um, get in there as well. Uh, so we'll talk about that later. So the first step is to get this downloaded and everything like that. All right. So once you've downloaded the integration and restarted and done all of that, then we'll go back into here and we'll go to devices and services. We'll go to add integration and now we'll find the the bamboo lab integration that we just set up is in here so you can configure this over the cloud or just using the land mode i'll go ahead and do over the cloud i'll select north america and if you do use your uh gmail or anything else to sign in 
um, here, just use those credentials here. Or if you have a separate Bamboo account, you'll use those credentials here. So let me go ahead and sign into my account. And then now that I'm signed into the account, I can see my X1C here. So we'll go ahead and hit next. And then on the front of the machine, um, you can look if you hit the little gear and the network, you'll see what the IP address is and what the access code is. Um, so make sure that you do that. Then we'll hit the submit button um, and we can connect locally to the printer. So we'll go ahead and select that and hit submit. And then we'll see that we have the X1C and then the external spool holder as well. And we'll hit finish. All right, so at first, when I first connected this, it only showed two devices, the external spool holder and the X1C, and the camera wasn't working either. So I turned the X1C off and turned it back on, and now it's showing four devices. And when I click on there, we'll see that those four devices are the X1C, both of my AMSs, and the external spool. The other thing that seems to be working, and we'll see how much, is uh, the camera seems to be working. Um, so when I click on that, it seems to be working. It does have a little bit of a delay, it seems like, but it does seem like everything's working on there. Um, so this integration seems to work with that. We'll see some of the things, uh, the fans and the light, you can even turn the light on and off from here, but all of the stuff that you can see, this is just all within the, um, X1C. So let's take a look at some of this stuff that, um, you can see in the X1C. So you can monitor the bed temperature, the chamber fans, all of the fans, you can, um, you know, put those in a group and look at all of the fans. You can see what layer you're on, uh, what the current stage is, uh, end time if available, the name of the file that you're using, more hand, uh, you know, fan speeds. It'll show you the current nozzle temperature, the target nozzle temperature, so you can review that type of stuff, what type of bed you have in there, the print length and feet, which is pretty interesting to know, uh, the print weight and grams, uh, the printer name, you know, whether or not it's recording, um, you know, all the speed profile, everything, um, you know, you can pause it, resume it, stop it from your, and just add these to your dashboard and everything like that. Um, so lots of stuff that we can, um, you know, connect to, and it shows all of your connected devices. Uh, so go, let's go take a look at one of the AMSs and you can see, if you use the bamboo uh, filament, you can see the filament that's in there. And I think if you name it, um, you can see that as well. Um, so that's pretty cool as well. So now you can go to settings and dashboards, add a dashboard and then you can name it bamboo or whatever bamboo printer and um once you've named a dashboard it'll be blank like this but let's go ahead and start adding some stuff to it so we can go ahead and hit edit here and we'll want to add a card and i think the first thing that we'll want to add is um the camera so let's click on this frigate card and see if we can get the camera going. And there's our camera for the X1C. Or that's actually the generic. There's a way that you can connect to it just from the IP address using generic camera card. Um, but there's the one from the X1C camera. So we can go ahead and save that. And we'll see that that's the one of the things on our dashboard there. We can also go back into settings, go into our devices here, and then add this to dashboard. 
and then it'll ask us which dashboard and we can go back to that one that we were just on and it gives us um you know different cards and everything that we can do but we can just add um whatever this one is to our dashboard and now we'll see you know it has a little preview of the thing that's being printed and then it had all the fans and the chamber lights and everything on there as well. Another cool thing that you can do when you're editing in here is when you add a card, you can go by entity. So you can go in here and find, um, I have a ton of stuff in here, but you can find your X1C or your AMS or whatever. And this does a pretty good job of adding a little, um, you know, card or whatever that you can use in here that works fairly well. So you'll see all of the different entities, you know, cover image. That's the, you know, preview of the last thing that I printed, which that is the last thing that I printed. And then here you can see all of the AMSs and everything. So AMS one, temperature, humidity index, tray, one and all that let's see what happens if we hit tray so it shows what's in the tray and everything like that so you can get a ton of access to all of this stuff so long story short right so within all of this you you get access to all of these different things so you can customize and make a really cool dashboard all right so one last thing that we can do is if we go back to the uh, bamboo integration thing and hacks or the github page whichever one you want to go to um there's also again a blueprint for the wled home assistant integration with all of this if you wanted to do that but these uh example dashboards so this wolf with sword uh dashboards these things look really cool and can add uh something you know a little bit more to your uh dashboard design so let's take a look at this so i'll leave a link to the github page but i'll leave a link directly to this and make sure you go and tip and buy uh whoever made this uh coffee um, but there's all kinds of these dashboards that they have in here, requirements, they show how to get everything running, all these different overlays. So if you have A1s, um, P1P, P1S, whatever bamboo printer that you have, they have all these cool overlays on here. And you just download these little pictures and they have all these guides. I'm not gonna steal their thunder on this. They have all the guides and everything in here, but go and check this out. And um, this is really cool. Like look at this little dashboard right here. That's like really, really, um, you know, really, really cool. Um, you know, for any of the printers that you have. Um, so definitely go and check this out. He should have, or they should have way more downloads than this on here. Uh, so get, get out there and make a dashboard and uh, take a picture of, of your cool dashboard that you think is um, really, really cool and uh, share it on our Saturday live stream. Um, so I'll end it with that, you know, really get in there and make a cool little dashboard, you know, something a little bit uh, more than what just the handy app, which is super powerful on your phone or whatever. But, you know, with Home Assistant, you can do a lot of different things um, with this as well. You know, making a dashboard or you can also, you know, query the different states. So if something is printing, maybe a light is a certain color. And then if it's idle or not printing, a light goes out. So if you just wanted a quick visual representation of what your printer is doing and you wanted to do that by a color of a light, you could do that as well. You have access to all of these different things. Same with there's an error or something. You can have a light flash red or something like that, right? There's all kinds of things that you can do with home assistant and it's really cool that you can integrate the uh, printers into home assistant to have access to all of this stuff and to do you know some automations with some other things and then these uh really cool overlays are are really really cool so i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure that you uh smash that like button and hit subscribe button you don't want to miss next week's video and i'll see everybody next week thanks everybody thanks for watching 
Thank mm-hmm. you.